What's going on YouTube? It's Dylan James and on today's video we're going to be talking about the top 10 sports card sales on eBay from December. First of all, Happy New Year to everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. But today we're going to be talking about some really, really big cards that were sold on eBay. There's been a lull in the market recently for sports cards, but these sales show that there is still a lot of interest in this sports card hobby. But before we get into the list, if you like this video, click that like button. And if you like this channel and the content we're creating here, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell. So every time we drop a new video, you'll be the first to know about it. So let's dive right into this list and see what we got. Coming in at number 10 on this list is a baseball vintage card from SGC. It's an SGC six slab here. Um, it's a 1933 Gaudi Babe Ruth. Beautiful card. This card, again, an SGC slap. SGC has been coming out with some fire, especially having some huge sales in vintage baseball in particular the past year. I'm sure that will continue to increase. I'm sure more people will send their cards to SGC because of the price point there. PSA has their $100 price point right now. They say they will be opening up their more value levels i guess you could say the cheaper levels um this year so we'll see if that happens and when it does we'll see how it impacts companies like sgc like hga like bgs um all those companies out there but this is sgc6 beautiful slab this card is in really really good condition considering the age of this card 1933 babe ruth you can't complain about that one of the greatest Yankees of all time, beautiful on the back as well. Big League Chewing Gum, very bottom there. This card sold for $65,000 on eBay, and it's still number 10 on the list. There are nine more cards that sold for more than that on this list. So let's go to number nine. It is a 2009 Panini Rookies and Stars Blue Ink Steph Curry Rookie Card, numbered out of 10, a BGS 10. Beautiful. Look at that autograph. Look at that sick patch too. The patch, the old school Warriors logo. You cannot beat this beautiful card. I mean, Rookies and Stars, not the best brand. However, this card did sell for $70,000. So I guess whoever purchased this card didn't really care about the brand of the card. Um, just wanted to get a Steph Curry card in their hands, which I completely understand. Only one 9.5 on the subgrades on this card for corners. Other than that, beautiful card almost perfect condition bgs 10 for steph curry rookie card once again there's the back there eight of ten is the serial number now let's move on to number eight on this list another good card another good player in the nba luka Doncic, 2018-19 rookie prism blue ice out of 99 rookie card psa 10 this card sold for seventy thousand one hundred dollars and again, the color match here, that's something you look for nowadays, especially when people are using sports cards more as art instead of just stashing it in a box and keeping it locked away. People want to display their cards and having a color match card of this caliber, that's huge. This card sold for $70,100. Again, ComC was the broker in this deal for eBay, but a huge card nonetheless. He hasn't been playing to the caliber we thought he would be this season, but I'm sure he'll pick it up towards the end of the year in the NBA for the Dallas Mavericks. So really big card there. Beautiful card. Love the color match. And there's the back of it as well. Out of 20, out of 99. Once again, 25 to 99. Beautiful card. So let's go to the next card. Next card is a National Treasures card. Zion Williamson, number one overall draft pick in 2019-2020. This card was big too, uh, RPA out of 99, BGS 9, an 8.5 in corners, which again, National Treasures, a very thick card. It's very hard to find um, perfect corners on National Treasures, but nonetheless, an 8.5 on corners, a 9 all together. Beautiful patch too, three color patch there. And the auto is, eh, eh, you know, it could be better. It's a little, it's a little streaky, it looks like. But out of 99, the auto was given a 10 on this card. But still a really, really cool card. If he can come back on the court and be that guy that we saw him be last year towards the end of the season before his injury, I think that this card can go up in value. But we just have to see him get back on the court. And if he gets traded to another team too, that could make this card skyrocket in value just because of him going to another team because the Pelicans I don't think he's going to win a championship on the Pelicans squad but we'll see we'll see what happens with Zion nonetheless RPA out of 99 this card sold 
for $75,000. But another card that sold for $75,000 is the only football card on this list. It is a 2002 Topps Finest Tom Brady X Fractor out of 20. It's a BGS 9.5. Only thing that didn't have a 9.5 is the edges. But a beautiful card there too, the GOAT. And, you know, we'll see what happens in the playoffs. I'm sure the value of this card will go up in the playoffs if they are able to make a run. But with Chris Godwin being out, with Antonio Brown no longer being a buck, with Leonard Fournette's, um, you know, his status being up in the air, especially for the first weekend of the playoffs, not sure how far he can go. But we've doubted Tom Brady in the past before when he was with the Patriots. And we've seen what he can do in the playoffs when he's in the zone. Tom Brady style, GOAT-esque. In this scenario, the GOAT of all time when it comes to football and potentially all sports, Tom Brady coming in on this list at number six, $75,000 for this card, beautiful card to have in in that um, in your collection, $75,000 there, Tom Brady on the back as well, out of 20, beautiful. Next card we got, we got a 2009 Topps Stephen Curry rookie card, Topps Chrome Refractor, BGS 9.5. This card sold for $78,000, a little less than the $95,000 price tag the the seller had on it. Uh, best offer was accepted here. But again, you don't see many of these cards out there for Steph Curry, especially nowadays. Uh, 2009 card, it's very hard to find um, good cards out there with good grades. So 9.5 for Stephen Curry, $78,000. I mean, hey, you can add it to your, to your collection for that price tag. Go right ahead. Out of 500 as well, numbered out of 500 too for this card, Stephen Curry, Refractor, Topps Chrome, beautiful card. And the Golden State Warriors can make a run this year. We'll see if they can do it, go to the championship and get another another championship for this city um, and for Golden State. That'd be great for them. Coming up next, another basketball card. Again, this list is chock full of basketball cards this time. We have a Michael Jordan 9798 PMG. People love Metal Universe. People love PMGs. This card is one of those chasers out there. People love to snatch these cards as quickly as they go up. This card sold for a dollar shy of $80,000. It's in an HGA PC slab. Now, this slab does not authenticate to the card. It does not give a, the card a grade. It's just for PC strictly, um, which you can also see the top left corner looks like it's dinged. Um, it looks like it's... Not the best there, so that's probably the reason why they did not grade this card. But it's still a beautiful card nonetheless. A green PMG, Michael Jordan, selling for $1 shy of $80,000. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful card there. And the back as well. Yeah, just you can't beat that. PMG, Michael Jordan, that's a match made in heaven. If you are a basketball collector or a hockey collector, hockey collectors love PMGs as well. Metal Universe is always a highly sought after product and PMGs are the grail cards in that product. So beautiful card there. Now let's move on to number three, an interesting name to have on this list. Zach Levine at number three, National Treasures, BGS 9.5 RPA out of 25, selling for $1 shy of $100,000. Again, I wouldn't expect to have Zach Levine on this list, but, you know, hey, people, I guess, had some money in December. So we have this all 9.5s on the subgrades. Beautiful card, Zach Levine out of 25. Nice patch there, too. Really, really nice patch there for the Timberwolves. Rookie card selling for a dollar shy of $100,000. Good old Zach Levine there in Minnesota. Now let's go to number two on the list. Another basketball card. Surprising, shocking. We have a dual signatures SP Authentic LeBron James Michael Jordan rookie card. This card sold for a whopping $102,000 on eBay. A PSA 10 nonetheless. It looks like it's an on-card auto as well. It doesn't look like there's stickers on this one. MJ's autograph looks a little sloppy to me in this one. LeBron looks like he was a little week with his as well but it was a rookie card for lebron james so it's pairing him up with the goat looking at a future goat in in lebron james at this time um, in 2003 but a beautiful card nonetheless and uh, lebron james michael jordan match made in heaven here i mean especially when 
LeBron James does retire, which should be in the next few years, it seems as though it seems like he is slowing down in his career. When he does retire, this card will go up in value tremendously because it will have two of the greatest to ever play the game on one single card. Um, so yeah, upper deck, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, SP Authentic, beautiful card there. Last but not least, one more Michael Jordan card. I love ending on a Jordan and this is a 1984-85 star Michael Jordan rookie card. Um, this is considered his rookie card, but they do have um, the other Jordan card as well that you're, you're more familiar with. But this card was sold for $120,000, and it is gorgeous as well. Um, only grade below 9.5 was 8.5 for centering. That's what made it a 9. They have to drop it down at least to half a point if there's a full point in between that way. Um... But yeah, once again, beautiful card. Michael Jordan, base card. There aren't many cards in the 80s or 90s. Um, very, very limited number of those cards out there for sale or um, even gradable. Um, so having a BGS 9 is a huge deal for a Michael Jordan rookie card. You have the records here. His collegiate records and everything, his stats. But beautiful card nonetheless. Michael Jordan ending our list here. The top 10 cards sold on eBay in December. So there you have it. There's the top 10 cards sold from December on eBay. What are the biggest things that you take away from this list? I would say that mine is how much basketball there was being sold on eBay last month compared to the football cards. We only had one football card in this whole list, the Tom Brady X Fractor from 2002. Other than that, though, there weren't any other football cards. I'm very surprised by that. I think we'll probably see an increase in those top sales of football cards this month, especially going into the playoffs. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to get your thoughts. But thanks for watching this week, guys, and we will talk to you next time.